In this OneNote tutorial, let's look at how to collapse or expand paragraphs and lists in OneNote. This feature can be extremely useful if you do not want to see your OneNote play cluttered with a lot of information. For instance, you can see that I have collapsed the information that was under paragraph 3 paragraph 4 and paragraph 5 and I have also collapsed some of the information that is under these bullet points. Now if you are using OneNote as a teacher and you have a set of questions and you want to temporarily hide the answers to those questions then you can also use this feature and even if you are a student and you have a set of questions and answers you can hide the answers while you review the questions and think about the answers to those questions. And after you have thought about the answer, you can double click to expand and get at the answer. Now, there are some conditions that must be satisfied before you can collapse and expand paragraphs and lists. So the main condition is that the paragraphs that you want to collapse must be indented under some other higher level paragraph or list. So you can see that paragraph 3 is indented under paragraph 1. So I can use this condition to collapse or expand paragraph 3. Likewise, when I go to the bullets, you must have a set of bullets that are indented under a higher level set of bullets. In this case, again, you can collapse and expand those paragraphs and lists. So looks like paragraph 3 meets the condition that I want. So if you go next to paragraph 3 and hover, you will see this small shaded arrow icon. And if you double click that icon, you will see that everything under paragraph 3 gets collapsed under paragraph 3. And you can do likewise for paragraphs 4 and 5. And in this case, I have a question and an answer under it. So I can go to question to the shaded arrow next to question one and double click to collapse. Likewise, I can go to the shaded arrow next to the higher level bullet G and double click to collapse. it. So if you notice, my page already bears a very uncluttered look. And if I need to expand the paragraphs or list that I had collapsed, all you need to do is double click these plus arrow icons and you can expand to get the details that were hidden. So to summarize, the option to collapse or expand paragraphs and lists can be extremely useful if you are trying to free up some space on your OneNote page. If you are a teacher who has a set of questions and answers and wants to temporarily hide those answers while your students think over those questions. And even if you are a student who's studying with a set of questions and answers, it might greatly help if you can temporarily collapse the answers while you review the questions and come up with the answers by yourself. Thank you for watching. And in the next video, we'll look at how to insert background images in OneNote.